You know, cancer, it is truly all about relationships for you. The, the major focus, the major energy that is happening for you is concentrated in your seventh house of partnership. Now, to be fair, this could be business relationships. This could be your relationships with clients. But this is the marriage partner. This is the committed relationship. So I am primarily talking to cancers who are in a committed relationship of some sorts or who are exiting from one. So let's talk about Pluto. Pluto, the planet of rebirth, crisis, regeneration, the planet that presents lessons of power and control and the correct use of power has been in your partnership sector since 2008. This is a big transit. It has impacted your life in a profound way. Your relationship is not the same. You may have gone through more than one committed relationship during this time period. You have learned something so significant about your role in allowing control and manipulation connected to relationships, as well as how much you try to dominate and control or manipulate a partner. And again, apply this to business if it's not personal for you. It's the seventh house can be business relationships. So there may have been a big power struggle for you in a business connection. But now what we're faced with is that Pluto is leaving Capricorn. Pluto is leaving your seventh house of partnership almost for good. On January 20th, Pluto will leave your seventh house and enter Aquarius. And Pluto is going to come back into Capricorn for just a few short weeks at the end of 2024. But primarily now, the Plutonian seventh house lessons are supposed to be integrated there's going to be a big event that takes place in January for you guys connected to relationship matters that force you to address this theme of power, control, manipulation, where you've given up your power or where you're trying to dominate a partner. And this could be a crisis month for some of you connected to relationship energy. But it can also be the, the crisis that needs to happen for the new beginning to take place. And, you know, let's be honest. Committed relationships are all relationships. There's a power dynamic in every relationship that we have. And we learn a lot about ourselves through other people. And... With Pluto being in the house of the other Cancer, you may have been projecting Plutonian themes onto a partner instead of directly owning and confronting your own relationship with power and, and supreme authority. So you may have found yourself in a situation where you have given away your power to a partner and then really resented it. And then you're struggling to reclaim that and you go about doing it in all the wrong ways where you try to be Pluto. <laughs> and that doesn't work out too well. Now, this month, there's Mars, the planet of assertive drive and energy, entering your seventh house. That'll happen on January 4th until February 13th. Then there's a new moon in Capricorn in your partnership sector on January 11th. And then there's Venus entering Capricorn on January 23rd. So there is a tremendous amount of seventh house energy happening, even though Pluto's going to leave your seventh house on January 20th. So I want you to, to take a good, long, honest look at your current relationship dynamic. Does this relationship foster mutual empowerment? Or 
is one of you trying so hard to be the boss that there really isn't a connection, a relationship? You really want to consider this, Cancer. I see a big turning point for so many of you with relationship. Now, it doesn't, obviously, it doesn't mean that every Cancer is ending a relationship in business or personal life. It doesn't mean that every Cancer is beginning a relationship. Both could happen. Either could happen, depending on what's going on in your personal birth chart, because there is such a concentration of energy in the seventh house. But it doesn't have to be as extreme as a breakup, a complete severing of ties. But I will say that if the relationship is dead, this might be the month that you decide to call it. There was a statistic about um, divorce and when people separate. And January happens to be a month and I guess it ties into the new year uh, that people want to start a new year with a whole new life. They're ready to do it. So separations, divorces, really breakups really happen a lot in January. And with you, Cancer, with all this energy, if there is a dead relationship that you're in, there is a really good chance that you are calling the time of death and recognizing that you're just you're too tired to keep engaging in this power struggle. It is not serving you. It is not serving the other person. And it's time to move forward. You have the ability to move forward in relationships in a healthy way. Because you've had 20 years. Since 2008, Pluto has been in your seventh house. You've had a long time of having Pluto lessons in your seventh house to recognize what is healthy and what is unhealthy and toxic in relationships. And in January, it is time to let the toxicity, to remove the toxicity in your close connections permanently. So I wish you all the best as you meditate on this and reflect on how it makes sense in your life, in your current reality. Let me know in the comments and I will talk to you next month. Bye.